one would suspect that just doing a calibration run and like uh, changing the voltage to increase the in power in a smooth way and just to see how the temperature rises would be like a quite uneventful exercise that would take some time but you would go through that and, because you need your calibration so I have my reactor uh, set up with uh, aluminum oxide powder that I get from my sawed off um, bricks of the same material just to have some mass in there so while doing that, I you know, started out in a nice voltage like um, 12 volts and to have like 9 watts going through just, you know, starting up. Um, and then I increased that to 17 volts and I had like 1 amps going through. Now, I am having a real bizarre experience here because suddenly my 1 amps has been slowly diminishing to half an amp, implying that the resistance in my system, the coil, mainly then, would have, you know, doubled, more than doubled. And just taking down a quick look at those graphs, and now these are kind of busy graphs, but in the topmost panel, <coughs> you can see that the red curve. Uh, indicates the uh, the power going going in, and mind you that there is no re regulation here. Uh, I'm not regulating. I put actually a set point value. Uh, let me check that for you uh, to 950 degrees, uh, and the SSR that is the minus 1153 there. You see milliamps uh, indicates that the SSR is open and have a hundred percent duty cycle. So going back here again, we see that the power has more than half gone down. And if you look at th this pane here, or this power, now that indicates a certain temperature in the green curve. The green curve in this pane here is uh, uh, the coil temperature. I have, if you can check out here in the, in the, in the environment, you can see the, the white cable going in to the side there. It's touching the, uh, the, uh, the coil. Uh, so the coil temperature uh, for the current input power should be much lower. And then you can see that it continues to rise. And even after this drop, it continues to rise. And, you know, what the heck is going on? So, the order is back in the test in the lab here. Outstanding. <laughs> well, all this commotion was actually due to this guy over here having a poor battery so I had to change that I first tested with moving over those cables to one of the other instruments and um, sure enough it was one amp or something around that so it was a failing battery and actually I swapped uh, put a new battery in this one and in, in the vault Meter as well because it too started to complain about that just now. So, well, there we go. That shows you that sometimes it's good to not be too excited over things and so, to check them very carefully. Okay, bye bye.